All right, y'all, man, what's going on, man? So time to talk about Shador Sanders of Colorado. He just inked a Nike NIL deal, man. It says, you know, right here, you know what time it is. Got the little watch right there flexing. Hey, y'all know what it is. Obviously, the celebration is also in NCAA college football, man. So obviously, before we start, shout out to him, man. Hope he has a big season. Was on a lot of preseason watch lists. Let's see what he does. Speaking of, the Buffaloes are going to play North Dakota State tomorrow night. Yes, college football. We've seen the first week. Last week was technically week zero, but we've seen some action finally. But this is the official kickoff of week one. So they play North Dakota State at home. Expect a raucous crowd, 8 p.m. primetime on ESPN. Should be a pretty good game, man, but I'm going to go with the Buffs. Uh, I think the Buffs are going to come out on top. Here's a few reasons why. Reason number one, I think the offensive line will be improved this year compared to last year. They obviously got Jordan Seen, who's a pretty good prospect. We'll see. I don't think they've released an official depth chart just yet, but I'm going to find out and uh, obviously look in detail to that when it does come out. But I think the offensive line is going to be improved this year. They're going to need a core player. Yes, they're going to need a core player defensively to have a big impact. I'm not talking about Shiloh. I'm talking about either on the edge rusher or the defensive interior or a linebacker. They need somebody. Now, 2024 class was a little weak. You know, it wasn't the best for Colorado, right? They had to go into the transfer portal. And that's kind of how Dion's built this team. It's not necessarily a bad, bad strategy because at least you know what you're getting week in week out when you have a freshman it's the ups and downs you know what i'm saying it's rare for a freshman to come in and, and, and hit the ground running we're gonna obviously see that in ohio with ohio state with jeremiah smith him starting as a true freshman but it's rare so another revamp roster they got a pretty good defensive line uh coach just a, a hall of famer and warren sap so i do like that and that was one of the key areas they struggled in was getting pressure on the quarterback um and being able to slow people down. I think that's going to help them this year. So I think the D-line is going to be very improved. I think Warren Sapp is going to have a lot to do with that um, as well. And I know they got a new defensive coordinator as well. So we're going to see, man. I want to see how this defense is going to look. Um, obviously, another player that I'm going to mention as well here in just a second. But defensively, I want to see a better team. Those are the two Those are the two keys. Offensive line, defensive. We're going to know a lot when we watch this game right here and how they come out on top. And if they can create a lot of pressure. You know, and if the offensive line can protect. Now, it's going to take them a little bit of time. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, this is a, you know, North Dakota State, again, good opponent. But we want to see them against the upper echelon competition when they have to play Utah, Nebraska, um, you know, and all those big 12 opponents they got to play this upcoming year. That's when we're going to really get the test. But, nonetheless, you guys can see right here, matchup predictor has Colorado Buffs winning 71%, the FPI to 28.7, and I 100% agree with it. Now, this part is interesting. And I just want to provide a little bit of context so people don't know about Travis, man. Travis is a great individual. Obviously, I don't know how he is in college, but I got a chance to interview him at least two to three times when he was here in high school. He probably doesn't remember me, and that's all good, man. But I remember I interviewed him, you know, for um, Gwinnett High School Media Day uh, back when he was at uh, Collins Hill. That was uh, an awesome interview, man. He was a well-spoken, humble-type kid, very confident in his abilities, man. Um, and I got to interview him after a post-game. I remember he just, like, went off, took over the game, had a pick six, had a touchdown catch, um, had multiple tackles, a forced fumble, and the kid was just going off. So I got to see him a lot um, in high school, m multiple times, actually. Um, so the kid is a stud, man. Um, I'm happy for him. If any kid I'm, I'm really, like, rooting for and I want to see – as he says right here that he's eyeing the Heisman Trophy in the national title game this year, I'm, I'm really rooting for Travis, man. Like I said, I, it's all love from my side with Colorado. I know some people don't like him. Um, you know, I know Paul Feinbaum is not the biggest on him. Um, I know several pundits that want to see them fail. I don't want to see them fail. If any kid I'm, I'm cheering for, it, it is Travis, man. I want to see him do it because he would be the first two-way player to win a Heisman Trophy since Charles Woodson did it in 1997, man. So it's an uh, esteemed honor. That'd be great to see for, obviously, Travis to be able to accomplish that and be able to do that. And we've already seen his team be on the national platform already, so they've already accomplished that. But to see them competing on the high end, um, you know, and I think this team could have a better year. The, the schedule is tough, but I think they could be contending for a Big 12 title. I got them winning about nine games this year, nine to ten. I think ten is the ceiling for them, but that would still gets you a berth in, I believe, the college football playoff if you can win about nine to ten games in, especially are, especially if you are in 
uh, the college, I mean, especially if you're in the Big 12 championship. So that's my humble opinion. That is what I think. Um, but I'm hoping Travis has a good season, man. We'll see if he plays as many snaps as he did last year. Over 1,000 snaps, 400 on offense, 500 plus on defense. We're going to find out um, if that's going to be the same for him, man. But the best two -way, one of the best two-way players in the game right now. And here's just a little bit of the scouting report. Um, you know, obviously um, how they have it. You know, I didn't put this together, but it said truly rare caliber of athlete, simply explosive after the catch. Yes, he is above average speed, agility and burst, strong, natural hands, uh, surprisingly good in contested scenarios. Yeah, he's good 50-50 ball catcher as well, high football IQ, man. So he checks a lot of boxes, man. Again, he's not the biggest guy, but he plays uh, plays his heart out, man. Um, and it's just a, he's an energizer bunny, man. And he's confident in his abilities, man. So I can't wait to see what the Buffs going to do this year, man. Um, and we're going to get a nice look at them week one. A lot of people are going to be like, whoa, even if they blow them out, you know, look who they play. But hey, man, a, a game is a game, man. And I think um, this will be a good tone setter, you know, for them to kind of start the season. We get to look at some key areas and see how they look. Uh, is the tackling better? You know, can the defensive line get pressure, right? Can their corners be better right we all, all we um seen the the exit of cormani mclean uh who was supposed to be that guy up uh opposite side of travis who's gonna be that cornerback too that's gonna step up big for them you know what i'm saying like i said how would they get pressure can they tackle better offensively can they protect shador sanders so he can kind of look downfield go through his progressions and find the target because we know we can do it right how would the running game look this year without having the guy that they had last year at running back so it's a couple questions going into this game you know but we go find out how they look but nonetheless, I'm taking Colorado to win this one um, against North Dakota State. And I got them winning between 9 and 10 games this upcoming year in 2024. Comment below, Colorado Buffs um, uh, prediction, season prediction, and how many games you got them winning. I kind of messed that up. But comment below, how many games you got the Colorado Buffs winning this season? What is your prediction for them this upcoming year?